What's up, Madden NFL fans? Welcome to today's video, guys. Today's video, we're bringing you a full online gameplay uh, with our our pa our excuse me our Falcons here. And uh, today we're going to be showing you how to use them in an online game with our scheme of the week. Um, so as you guys know, we're using the three four solid scheme of the week here, and uh, we're going to start out with our cover three buzz. Uh, getting going here just run out of base play and kind of just see what our opponent has for us uh, We're gonna use her the safety here here We see he's gonna go up top and we ended up getting some nice pressure off that right edge And that's why we put OCU manure and guys like that on the edges so that they could rush the passer and do a pretty good job there of getting home uh, Alright guys, so second of 15. This is a situation where I'm gonna check down uh, I'm gonna check up actually into my three four uh, coverage defense. I'm going to run this cover four here. And I'm just going to run it stock because I didn't have time to get my setup in. I'm actually going to, oh, I ended up getting stuck on the defensive lineman. Uh, but what I like to do is I got my base play and then, but that situation right there was pretty unique because unfortunately I had, well, fortunately for me, I had him in a situation where he kind of had to throw, and because he had to throw, I felt like I could drop back into coverage defense and do a pretty nice job. Here, I'm going to send some pressure, um, setting up my Trio Sky Zone defense here, and we're going to get that right edge pressure. Ended up getting it out pretty quick there. Probably should have dropped the flat zone over on that side to kind of take that away, uh, but unfortunately, I didn't think of that by the time the ball was snapped. So here we go here. First and 10, this is a situation where... My opponent can do a lot of things, uh, but so this is where I like to just kind of stay, stay small, and uh, just run the base play, and just kind of sit in it for a little bit. Uh, again, I like to use the middle linebacker when I run the base play, just because I don't want to get beat deep. Uh, here we got a little screen action. There you see the flow coverage of the cover three buzz. Unfortunately, nobody made the tackle, but we did have guys in the area. All right, so one of the things that I'm going to do here with this defense. I'm actually going to flip the cover three buzz so that I can blitz OCU Minor off the edge. And uh, it's just a little nuance here because the formation does look uh, very similar flipped. So I can kind of flip it with freedom. Last time he ran this formation he had a verticals concept. So I'm going to watch out for T.Y. Hilton over the top here. It actually runs the ball and uh, that's a good check down there to running. Uh, he knew that I was probably dropping off in a basic zone defense and he ended up catching me there. Alright, so we're probably just going to stick with this base play guys. I really like to just run the base play for the majority of the first drive just to kind of just to kind of figure out what they've got coming and uh, kind of figure out what they're doing here. So here I'm going to drop that curl flat zone. We've not seen single back ace yet. So let's see what he's got from here. He's going to motion this guy over. Maybe a little inside zone action. Yep. Inside zone. Pretty good job there. Unfortunately, my guy didn't get off the block. Uh, in this situation, I'm actually going to probably consider running my clamp double go because of how much he is running inside and kind of throwing quick passes. So when people like to do that, I really like this clamp double go. I'm actually going to drop the deep blue zones in man assignments. On these outside guys and I'm gonna play a strong user down here on this right side kind of set the edge with my user control player and uh, really kind of follow if there's any kind of outside run here on the right motions that guy over I feel pretty confident though in my man coverage here to kind of stay with those guys and we did kind of confuse him a little bit there caused the delay a delay game because uh, we normally will baseline that time we didn't and uh, we ended up getting a break there he didn't make a very good read and uh, got confused and so now we have him in a second and five uh, with another opportunity here to play some pretty locked down defense so he's coming out in a three wide receiver package uh, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna try to set some pressure here and uh, I'm gonna try to play a really aggressive defense here to try to combat uh, these uh, quick little things that he's doing here. I send that right edge pressure and there you see I got him quick and if you know anything about tendencies what I saw there was I knew he was passing and so the quick the thing that popped in my head was that his very first quarterback completion first time he completed a pass uh, he hit the flat 
Um, he had a flat route or an out route, a quick little out route. And so I just dropped those two flats out there, kind of trying to play a little bit aggressive and uh, ended up paying off for me. And there he hits me with a, str a streak. And uh, that's probably on me a little bit. I got a little bit more. I wanted to play those out routes a little bit more and ended up getting clicked off. And unfortunately, he hit me over the top here. So we've seen a couple of good things. Now in the red zone, this is where I really like the clamp double go. I like to drop um, both quarters <sighs> Excuse me, into man coverage or flat zones, depending on uh, what I like here. Uh, here I'm going to drop them into flats because it's an I form formation. And, I, and he's going to end up running it here. He's actually going to get in. So, unfortunately, the Falcons, uh, I probably should have checked down to the run defense there. Uh, but, unfortunately, the Falcons just don't quite have the block shedding uh, to kind of hold up when you make a bad play call. Unfortunately, I made a bad play call, and uh, he ended up scoring on it. Because instead of running middle, he ran off tackle. So here we go. We're going to get the ball on offense. Uh, if you guys remember, we were talking all week about the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook. And uh, the, the play I'm really excited to show you guys is the trips tied in. And there's our kick return tip. I accidentally messed up on the – accidentally messed up on my uh, little juke there. He's going to pause the game here. Uh, guys, I want to take the opportunity here to uh, just ask you guys to follow me on Twitter and engage with me if you have any questions there or if you just want to talk Madden. Uh, if you have anything question related to Madden, you can hit me up on Twitter at Mantips365. And I've got a lot of ideas coming soon here. I'm trying to get some interviews going. Uh, so if you guys know of any tournament players that you would like to see be an interview done with, uh, please let me know in the comments. And I'll try to reach out with them and talk with them about some, some Madden 15. So here we go. We're going to get started here offensively. We like to come out in the trips tight end play. And the base play we like to use is the drive post or the PA slot corner, plays like that. So we're going to set our play up here. I like this look for the trips. We're just going to motion in, get a zone look, and we're just going to check down to Harry Douglas underneath. And you guys are going to see a lot of check downs here. Uh, this offense is very simple, guys. It's it's just a lot of check downs. It really is. It's a lot of that slant route and that motion wheel. And, and that's kind of, it's, it's a very simple offense, but it's very effective. And uh, the big thing about this offense is it's very efficient. So here in this situation, I'm just going to check down and run the ball here with Steven Jackson on this 45 quick base. I got some blocks there. I'm going to pick up a first down. And uh, that's all. It's, that's what it's all about, guys. Moving the change, or moving the chains, and uh, kind of staying aggressive uh, as well. And that quick base, I really like that as a quick audible here. Uh, I set all those up in my audible tutorial. If you didn't see my audible guide, uh, you might consider checking that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. And here again, he's kind of playing some soft defense on that slant route, so I'll continue to take that. And uh, it'll be interesting to monitor uh, if he decides to stop it or not. All right, so that's the end of the first half, uh, or the first quarter, sorry, excuse me. And uh, we're moving on to the second. All right, so this situation, he's got backed off corners. Uh, and so I'm going to check down to the gun bunch here, and I'm going to run the PA post. I'm going to put Roddy White on an out route, smart routed, because of the backed off corners. And I'm going to try to take advantage of that possibility of a blitz. Here he's actually in cover two. Ended up hitting Harry Douglas over the top. Unfortunately, he's going to drop it. And uh, that is the name of the game. Sometimes your guys just drop the pass. Okay, so in this situation here, uh, just going to kind of probably stick with the base play. Because uh, he's making a lot of adjustments on his defensive line. He's dropping a lot of guys off in coverage here. He's only blitzing one guy. Ends up getting through there. That was a little frustrating. Uh, you got a guy, and now I think this is actually a good thing because we have a guy like Dominic Davis coming in who can really deal with that coverage defense pretty good by scrambling out of the pocket. All right, uh, so while we're waiting here, just wanted to quickly, um, just wanted to quickly let you guys know of some some ideas I've been thinking about doing. Uh, I, I'm really interested in doing a beginner guide for you guys uh, for the launch of Madden 15. And I'll probably be giving it away for free 
uh, just kind of give you a sample of some of my future content that I can do. And uh, I hope that you guys would really enjoy that. I think it would be pretty beneficial. And then I'm also considering giving you guys a, a kind of a Madden 25 finale guide uh, where I break down my offense and defense and get in-depth and in-guide format. And it just gives you another opportunity to uh, have some content that uh, can help you get better at the game. So here he's dropping back, literally everybody back in coverage. And I feel confident in the one-on-one -on -one here with Roddy White. I'm going to click on... Try to make a user catch, and unfortunately, Roddy White's going to drop the ball. And uh, right here, I accidentally bumped the fake punt button. Um, since we're at midfield, I feel pretty confident that I'm not going to get a whole lot of value out of punting, and that's the only reason I'm going for it. Fourth and 16 is not a good kind of situation to be in to go for it, but I feel like uh, I have to go for it because of where I'm at on the field. All right, uh, he's got the corners back. I'm going to really force this out route into Julio Jones and see if he can catch it. That's kind of the read here. I got to look for it. Julio Jones is going to be huge for me. And uh, that's why you guys have uh, kind of power routes. Uh, you have things that you can you can use to really beat the defense in a situation where they give it to you. And uh, he's been kind of leaving those cornerbacks backed off. So I might be starting to uh, hit those out routes because he's been doing a little bit better of a job of taking the middle of the field away. Here he's bringing the safety over here. Now what I want to do, since he's dropping all these guys into max coverage defense, is I'm going to check down here into the HB dig, the mountain dig. And I don't think I can do it, though, unfortunately. Nope, I'm going to have to call a timeout. All right, so sorry about that. But what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the mountain white dig play. We broke it down in the Scheme of the Week video. If you guys are not watching uh, the weekly breakdowns, you guys need to check those out because those provide a lot of value and kind of get you in my head about what I'm looking at when I'm recreating schemes. But uh, what we're going to do right here is we're going to check down to the, um, to the mountain white dig play. And we're going to put Roddy White on an in route. Harry Douglas on that hitch route. We're taking. We're going to try to take advantage of the fact that he's not base aligning. And there you see, we get a nice little big time pass to Steven Jackson, and it paid off. So that's what we call a calculated risk, where we take our time. We kind of, we kind of look at you know all the scenarios that can happen, and we we think that okay, this may be a potential opportunity at which we can hit something over the middle. Here he's not. Watching that slant route, we're able to fit it in. Now we're going to check down to our three-headed rushing attack. Uh, our three-headed rushing attack comes from the single back uh, tight doubles on. We like the halfback zone weak from here. And what I like to do is I like to play make of the run and uh, based off of where I want to run it. And then motion Julio Jones over and snap it once he sits over here. Here he sets up, and there you see the run almost powered, and we got a block shut off the ed edge. Uh, so we're going to check right back down to that, and we're actually going to quick snap the run. We're going to playmaker it to the right, and we're going to motion Julio Jones over again. Here he uh, feel like we can get that kind of seal, and we get in for the touchdown. So a pretty good drive there by us uh, to try to get down in the red zone and uh, punch it in. So we had some adversity there. Uh, unfortunately, un un unfortunately, we struggled a little bit with the coverage defense he was giving us, but we ended up finding a fix for it towards later on. And uh, we also have our mobile quarterback in the game now, Dominic Davis, who can really kind of deal with some of those breakdowns, and he can kind of break the defense down and scramble if we need that. Uh, but so far, we haven't scrambled at all with our quarterback, so uh, that just goes to show that you can run this scheme with any team. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a mobile quarterback, uh, but obviously a mobile quarterback provides an element to your offense. All right, so coming back out in this 3-4 sod, I had some success uh, sending some pressure last time when he went to the pass. Uh, here he's going to go to the pass again. I'm going to drop a flat zone over here. I'm going to play a strong user on this right side. Ends up running the ball. He's been running the ball on me pretty effectively here. And I think it's mainly because he's running inside is, is probably why he's having so much success. 
So in this play, we're probably going to run, depending on what he comes out in, but it might be the clamp double go. It might be the sting pinch. Who knows? So he's going to stay with that three wide receiver look. Here I'm almost confident that he is going to throw the ball. So I'm going to make some adjustments here. Ends up running a screen. I got a contain over there. And there's Corey Beer, Corey Beer, Mir, I can't even say it. Croy Beerman. And uh, he did a pretty good job there shutting down the screen pass. So, guys, right here, third and one. This is a prime time situation for the clamp double go. And uh, we're dropping flat, flat on the outsides here. And we're coming down playing a strong user control over the middle. If he runs middle, we should get it. Uh, we'll see what he does here. Ends up passing, and I was really close to being on that. I was really close. Uh, ends up getting a lucky drop there. I'm pretty sure he'll probably go for it. Now, what you see, what you'll see here, probably, is he's probably oh, he's punting the ball. Uh, since I think that he still might go for it, though, I'm gonna go out and punt and turn safe man, uh, just in case I have everybody manned up. He might run the fullback, little fullback direct snap there. Cause a timeout. See, I'm sure he wasn't actually ever thinking about um, punting the ball. All right, so right here, uh, I really want to overplay his. Probably really here going to overplay the uh, that quick pass seam pass that he almost got off on me, that he had on me last time, where I was right there, but I just couldn't get a reaction from my guy. Uh, I was probably a little bit too far underneath it, but uh, I'm going to try to take a little bit of advantage of him seeing the pressure last time, and uh, now I'm going to take that away. So I've got hook zones here for the streak. I've got this guy over here. I'm watching that tight end. He Remember, he went to that tight end. There's the out route. Ah, Remember, he hit me with that earlier in the game. And uh, now we know that that's one of his go-to routes uh, here for the situations. All right, so second and 12 here. Uh, probably just going to take it to the two-minute warning. And uh, we really are, are kind of crunching down here. I'm uh, going to try to, going to really try hard here to get him to force something. All right, so what I've been seeing here, he likes to throw the out right on that side. We got the streak here, and we're going to hook that guy there. Got to set the blitz up. Crap, I forgot to set the blitz up. Crap, I didn't put the contain out there. I didn't have time. Uh, that's probably more so my fault than the play itself. Uh, unfortunately, I did not think about it, and I forgot to put the contain out there. All right, guys. So first and ten uh, here. He's probably in heavy pass mode now. Uh, so I'm gonna drop that. Come over here with the user player, and I've got to watch out for the big time seam over the top. He's gonna run the ball, man. He is getting just a big time push in the middle of the field, and I don't really know why he is. Possibly because I'm dropping guys in the zones over there. All right, so we're going to go clamp, double, go. And we're going to drop, hook, 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 four yellows. And we're kind of we're kind of trying to say, okay, we're going to cloud the middle of the field because we know he really wants to go there. And again, that out route, it's killing me. And now we don't tackle. Ah, tough. All right, so this situation, I'm going to switch my thought process, and I'm just going to go with some... Uh, Coverage defense. Actually, I can't now. Shoot. Ends up running the ball, and that was that was kind of a bad play by me all around. <sighs> okay. Uh, probably just going to come back here to the base play. Uh, I need to drop that flat down. I need to get over there. I need to get over there. I need to get over there. Gosh, dang it, man. Stupid slip screens, man. Ah. <sighs> All right, guys, in this situation, um, I really think that it's going to be a big time thing if I can man up here. He's been running that inside run all game. There we go. We finally get some push in the backfield and blow up the run. So right here, uh, we don't have any timeouts. We don't have a whole lot of moves here. Uh, so we're kind of just playing for three. We're trying to hold him to three here or get a turnover. But uh, seven would be terrible for us at this point. So I know he wants to go here, and I think I'm going to get dotted. Yep, right over the middle. 
gosh dang it. Alright, so this is an interesting dilemma here. He called the timeout there. This means that he's probably going to be throwing the ball uh, the rest of this drive. So I'm going to set up a pretty good max coverage defense to try to force him uh, to having to roll out. And some coverage there. Ended up defending the drag really well. Now he's got about 10 seconds. He's going to probably either kick the field goal here um, or I'm going to get a shot here. I'm actually going to get a shot here. Okay. Uh, yep, that's good. Um, so what he did there, which I thought was a little bit poor on his part, was he kind of wasted his only timeout. And it really helps me out here because now I'm going to get an opportunity to uh, go up 14 to 7, even though it should technically be 10 to 7 uh, in favor of him. All right, so there's our kick return tip. Once again, getting us to about the 30 yard line. It typically will get us pretty good field position, sometimes uh, really good field position, and even some touchdowns. All right, guys, back to the trips tight end, and we uh, haven't been on offense in a while. That's another thing, too, if you guys have noticed. His drives have been really long drives, and he's really kind of had uh, a lot of trouble moving the ball on me consistently. There's the drive post, the man-beating principles uh, with the corner route to the tight end. Ended up sending a heavy pressure blitz, and uh, luckily I was able to get rid of the ball quick. And uh, I'm actually probably going to have to consider checking down a little bit more to my uh, man beater here. We run a lot of press man on the outside there. He's got some more press man here. Ends up dropping off into coverage. And I'm just going to be patient, patient, patient. I'm going to playmaker guy here. I'm going to playmaker him upfield. Playmaker him back down. Playmaker him left. And I fit it in. So what you saw right there was a lot of patience on my part. Uh, and a lot of playmaking. Uh, you don't want to throw the ball if he's not open. And what I mean by that is I see sometimes guys get in a situation and they just literally they just won't throw the ball or they throw the ball as soon as they think it's humanly possible. And I think when you do that, you really limit uh, your your you know, your uh, potential. So by waiting, 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 and then throwing it, I did a really good job. Here I just saw nobody was lined up over Roddy White, so I figured I would try to fit a bubble screen in. Uh, just to kind of let him know that I can do that at any moment. All right, so here, uh, just because of like what he's been doing, I feel like I have a lot of opportunity to hit this mountain wide dig uh, route here to the halfback. Uh, so I'm going to check down into the mountain wide dig. I'm going to put Harry Douglas on that hitch route and Roddy White on that little uh, in route, and we'll see what happens here. Here he's not baselining. And we've got cover zero, and I feel like I could have user caught that, but unfortunately I just completely failed, and uh, it's going to bring up third down. So there might have not been the best time to call that play because I was in a situation where I was in a second and long, and that's kind of a shot play. So maybe next time I should wait till I'm like in a second and two or second and three to call that play. All right, here... Uh, I felt like I can fit that into Julio Jones across the middle. Uh, it's kind of decision time right here, and uh, I feel like I'm pretty confident that my offense can get this first down uh, just because of the way the game's been playing out. And uh, I've been kind of able to sit in the pocket, sit in the pocket, sit in the pocket if I need to. So I feel pretty confident and, and able to get this uh, first down here. So here you see, now this is immediately man coverage to me every single time. Uh, so I'm just going to go to my man coverage beater. And because and I know he can't bring a whole lot of pressure out of this, so it's a drop off coverage defense, and I'm just going to take my first down with Matt Ryan. Now I was a little quicker to scramble in that situation because of the fact that uh, it was a fourth down. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense because I just wanted to get the first down. I wasn't really looking for the big play. Here he's going to send that pressure blitz. And unfortunately, I threw that little motion snap slant route a little bit too soon. And there you see the result. If you throw that slant route a little bit too soon, sometimes he's going to really overthrow it. So you need to work on your timing with that route and make sure that you're working on that as you're cycling through your plays. All right, so second down and 10 yards to go. He blitzed me on the last down. Uh, here I feel really confident in my ability to be able to run this quick base uh, for a couple of yards here off the edge. 
So there's Steven Jackson making his money. Uh, Steven Jackson's kind of a, a hidden gem on these Atlanta Falcons and does a pretty good job there getting me in a nice third down situation. All right, so third and five. And here I see he's probably in man-to-man -man coverage again. So I'm going to check out, go into the PA post, which is my man beater. And I'm going to try to beat some man coverage here. I'm actually going to motion in Jones two steps. And there's a dot for the touchdown. Can he get our feet down? And he doesn't get his feet down. Okay. That is very unfortunate. And again, I just feel like with the way the game is made, playing out, I just feel like I can get this fourth down. Um, if he stops me here, he stops me. But I just have to. There's something in me that feels like I can get this fourth down. You know how you can sometimes feel it in your bones. Uh, all right. Bring Douglas across. Need to get out of that formation. Go to the PA post. So we're on the same play. Let's see if it makes sense. We're going to bring him across, and that was really cool. Uh, what happened there was we brought uh, – that was a really dicey play there, but we brought um, – we re-motioned back – we re-playmakered uh, Tony Gonzalez to the right, ended up getting a pick on his player, uh, on Julio Jones's man, and ended up freeing up Julio Jones for the touchdown uh, as he dropped back a man max coverage defense. So um, pretty clutch drive there by me, two fourth down conversions – and um, obviously you don't want to be in fourth downs a lot, but I feel like uh, you know the first fourth down that we were in uh, was partially my own fault for not making good play calls, and then the second fourth down was I pretty much had a touchdown wide open. Uh, it's just unfortunate that Harry Douglas didn't put his feet down. All right, so back on the defensive side of the ball here, and I'm going to probably send some man pressure uh, because... I think that he is uh, getting a little too comfortable with the soft zones. He's hitting kind of the short passes. So I'm going to clamp down here with some man. And clamp down, end up getting a really deep bomb. And luckily for me, I'm able to swat it down. Now what I'm going to do is drop off into a coverage because... Now he's thinking, oh, he's blitzing. He's going to try to get a blitz beater. So I'm going to throw a coverage defense uh, at him to negate that. So here we're going to go cover four. Uh, we're going to drop here. And we got Warlow. And then we got a three man pass rush coming. We're actually going to drop Babino off into his zone. We're only going to bring two. And we just got a pretty nice little coverage defense here. Probably going to try to hit that quick little out route. Oh, man, I was right there. That should have been a pick. I was really hoping that was going to be an interception for me. All right, so I feel pretty confident that what he wants to do uh, is hit those uh, seams there. All right. So I've got Hilton basically over top. And there's the pressure from the Trio Sky Zone. Uh, we set the zone blitz and made some adjustments to our coverage and did a pretty good job there of getting some pressure. All right, here we are going to send some pressure at our opponent. We got the contain that time for the screen, almost got an interception. Uh, pretty good adjustment there, and you see how that does a really nice job against a lot of what he's trying to do. Uh, here, because it's third and long, I'm going to send a man compliment to this blitz. And I'm going to drop some hook zones there to kind of prevent that streak. Ends up hitting me with an out route. And dang, Asante Samuel just get roasted. I was actually thinking about putting him into a hook zone so that he could stop that. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't make that adjustment. Ended up getting dotted across. And uh, another good play by my opponent to take him uh, back into the game here. Alright, so now it's up to me to answer back. It's just kind of held him to 14. Can't be upset at that. I mean, 14 points is uh, a lot of people think that that's a 
impossible. So, all right. So, I'm just gonna come out my standard offense here. Now we've seen a lot of opportunity though with this guy. We've seen we've had opportunities with our PA post play and our other plays as well. So I'm gonna try to hit uh, my mountain wide dig play here. You see that he's base aligned now. And you see, look on the right side. Do you see how that kind of misaligned? I'm going to take advantage of that by putting Roddy White on a streak here. And uh, if that guy doesn't go over there, which he doesn't, I'm just going to hit him with an outside pass lead. That's part of a pre-snap read and taking advantage of your uh, opponent's formation. But unfortunately, uh, we dropped the ball there. All right, so second and ten. Not a good situation to take shots here. We're probably just going to come out. Stick with the base play that's been working all game uh, and kind of just run that down our opponent's throat because you can't. In this situation, you don't want to try to go to your other stuff because, uh, unfortunately, you just really need to get yardage here. And there, Harry Douglas does a really good job. Got a big-time back juke by Harry Douglas and gets us in a really nice situation. We're actually going to end up taking this to the quarter uh, because I'm trying to make sure that I actually – we're actually just going to go ahead and run a play. If I can see here, where is that mountain wide dig play? This is our opportunity to take a shot here at our opponent uh, real quick before the end of the quarter. Can we get it off? Nope, we don't get it off. So uh, I was really wanting to take a shot at my opponent uh, at the end of the quarter. At first, I was thinking we might as well just take it to the end of the third uh, just for uh, clock management and things like that. But... Here we're going to run the ball on first down, so we're going to bring Roddy White across, and then we're going to check down into our tight doubles formation. Haven't ran a whole lot of that. And uh, actually, what we're going to do here, and wow, they really messed up my formation. I wanted to go to the tight doubles. What the heck? We're actually going to go play action here. And the reason is because he knows that I like to run out of here. So why not try to checkmate him with a play action on first and 10? There you see the play action almost intercepted. Really good coverage, and that's unfortunate. So typically that route will beat me into man coverage. If it's not wide open, though, I should have just thrown that user catch up and tried to uh, get it like that. Here he's not honoring the will route to Steven Jackson. Actually makes a poor user play. And uh, we're able to get move the chains with Steven Jackson. Guys, I think Steven Jackson has really made an impact on this game uh, so far, even with the little bitty things that he does. You know, two catches for 20 yards, five carries for about 15 yards. But all those carries and everything, uh, they impact the game in a lot of ways. All right, so here we're going to check down and the tight doubles on. Just kind of run the ball a little bit here, kind of control the game, control the clock. And uh, we're going to bring our guy in motion. This time we're actually going to run the ball. Uh, just because he's been dropping a lot of guys in coverage. And uh, here we cut it back with Steve Jackson on the zone week. And end up picking up a couple of yards there. Second and four is a really good opportunity to take advantage of uh, your opponent. So here we're going to try to hit him with the mountain wide dig. Uh, we audible to it really quick coming out of the huddle. We've got looks like a cover zero up top. And we end up just checking it down to Roddy White. Roddy White makes a nice catch in traffic and uh, keeps the chains moving. Uh, the only reason I didn't throw it up with that one-on-one -on -one was because the guy really reacted uh, to the ball pretty well there. In this situation here, you see how he doesn't have anybody over. Uh, he doesn't have anybody over Roddy White. So I'm going to try to fit in this little screen to Steven Jackson. Jackson breaks a tackle and then is wrapped up for only a one-yard gain. But that's just something you want to keep your opponent honest with and just kind of test the waters every now and then and just let him know that you can do it and uh, make sure that he's being disciplined in his defenses. All right, so second and nine is a crucial down in my opinion, and we're actually going to go ahead and just run the ball here, check down into the quick base. Steven Jackson picks up 10 yards. Huge gain right there. And uh, that was pretty big for us because we got to keep the chains moving. Uh, and this offense has been very efficient so far this game. All right, this is a situation where I feel like he's going to send a heavy pressure blitz. 
and I'm going to check down into the single back bunch close mesh and I'm actually going to check out of it, go to the wide trail and then I'm going to check back into it so that I can hot route Roddy White to a fade and I end up getting a delayed game penalty even though I snapped the ball. So with about 2 minutes and 48 seconds left uh, and we know that he hasn't been the greatest at managing his timeouts so I'm thinking that I can really kind of clock him here if I wanted to but uh, just for you guys, I'm going to show you that you can really cage his offense. Uh, I was actually really close to caging his offense. Uh, second ago here. Here he's got more of a basic look, so I'm just going to run my basic basic play here. And there you see, once again, it delivers for us on first down and a really big catch across the middle by Harry Douglas. In this situation, I'm going to run the football every time. Second, Actually, you know what? Since he's showing this look, actually... Uh, that's why you never say never and never say every. Uh, I'm going to run the play action and try to hit him over the top. User catch, and he dropped the ball. Oh, he caught it! Oh, man, that was huge! So that was a pretty nice little rocket catch on the sideline to Julio Jones there. Uh, I think that might have been one of the coolest catches all year. And uh, I'm really glad that the ruling was upheld because that was pretty neat. Um, so right here, uh, with him having the opportunity to go down and score, uh, I don't want to go for two. Even though part of me does, I, I just can't do it. I should have gone for two on the first two tries, uh, but I just didn't think about it. But, man, that was a huge play by Julio Jones there. hope you guys watch that. I'm probably going to cut that clip up and, uh, and show it off a little bit because that was a pretty nice catch. I uh, may show you some highlights after the game, but uh, pretty nice little play by Julio Jones. And uh, I think you guys will enjoy the, the gameplay. Uh, so, All right, so three, four, solid. Basically what we're going to do here on defense is we are going to run a lot of Trio Sky Zone. This is where you should kind of have your opponent's tendencies down. Uh, you know, no more uh, kind of nice guy kind of a, a mentality. There's the screen. We got that cage. So what we've seen is we know that we like to run, he likes to run the screen. He likes to run the little out route to the solo receiver side. And then he likes to run seam passes up the seams uh, or up the middle of the field. So here we drop the flat over here. And we're going to drop that assignment. And I ended, up, I ended up getting clicked off there. And unfortunately, guys cannot tackle. Probably should have let him score there, but... Anyway, so if you guys saw what happened, what he's running, he's running a corner and a post off that side there. Uh, so that's going to give me a quick little insight here into what I can do to stop that. But, uh, i got to bring this guy over here. be interesting to see what he does here. I haven't seen this look before yet. He might be running. I'll be just running a little isolation running play. I think he is running. I'm going to come down to the box here, kind of try to blow up the inside run. I think he's trying to clock me, actually. But he has to score a touchdown anyway, so it really doesn't. Yeah, he's trying to clock. Yep, he's trying to clock. Okay. Uh, okay. So we got three timeouts, which is... And now he has to score a touchdown. So because we have three timeouts, we can afford to be aggressive here. And uh, he went out of bounds, which is really good for us because the clock is going to stop. And we blow up the run, and like I said, we have three timeouts. So no matter what, we are going to win this series because he's going to have to kick it off to us with a little bit over 45 seconds left. And all he can do right now is tie the game up. So it's probably a little bit stupid on his part to attempt to to to, to uh, excuse me to attempt to to do that. Uh. I got to draw. All right, so right there, uh, I need to sweep in here. Screen, we got it caged. 
And that's going to cost a fourth and goal. And that's why you don't try to clock, guys. That was a little bit stupid, I think. Uh, just because he wasn't in a really good situation to play clock management. And uh, especially when we, you know, have kind of been there with him the whole time. All right, uh, Trio Sky Zone here. Uh, we're going to drop two flats. Hook zone, hook zone here. And we're just kind of watching the slant round because all those receivers are going to cross over the middle. I guarantee it. Uh, that solo receiver will be on a five-yard out route. Uh, if he's not, then we need to definitely here. See how we got those yellow zones exaggerated by uh, dropping them in the double base line. And like I said, all they cross over. Unfortunately, I got clicked off and used with the defensive lineman. So now I gotta go win the game. <sighs> Onside kick. Are you? Why would you do that? Oh my gosh, doesn't matter. It's my ball. Why would you go with an onside kick there? That drives me stupid nuts, guys. Ah, don't do that. Don't ever do that. That was stupid of him. Man, my opponent's a freaking frustrating dude. All right, the reason I accepted that, real quick, the reason I accepted that, it gives me the ball at the 36. What that does for me is it gives me more room to work. He's got three timeouts. You guys see, I actually pay attention to how many timeouts they got. And because he's got timeout, oh, this is another good look. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm taking a shot for a touchdown. Um, but basically, guys, real quick, what I just did, why did I accept that penalty? Because I know that he has three timeouts. I need more time to clock him out mathematically. Uh, or I could just throw a dot to Steven Jackson and go in for the touchdown. Now, the reason I paused it there is I want him to burn his timeouts. I want him to burn his – I want him to burn him uh, just because – I don't want him to have those timeouts when we go back out because I know that the only way that he's going to be able to move the ball up the field is through those timeouts. But you see, I knew that I could clock him out because 37 seconds gives me that opportunity. Whereas him trying to clock me out at 150 when I had three timeouts, it just doesn't make any sense. So there's Steven Jackson. Literally, I'm just trying to run into tacklers, and Steven Jackson is just too big of a man to be tackled. And so now I'm going for two. Because I personally think that I can get it. All right. So we're going to flip the run to the right side now and run it off that side because we just ran it off the left. And Steven Jackson. And you guys, I, I told you, in practice mode... Uh, I told you in practice mode that uh, that runs a lot better than it looks in practice mode. All right. So now defensively, how do we shut him down? Well, it's just like I said. Uh, the only problem is I've just not been able to. I've been right there the whole game. I just haven't been able to uh, really complete it. Crap, I keep getting clicked off, too. Dang it. Mm. Okay. Um, the reason is because I'm trying to do this with pressure, but unfortunately, it keeps hitting me up the seams. I'm a little slow on my setups today. So all we're doing right here, guys, uh, real quick, I, I know I'm a little bit boring right now because I'm trying to, trying to focus on the game and trying to also commentate. But what we're doing right here is we're trying to uh, get him to throw us. We're, we know that he has to go to the deep streak. So now what I'm going to do is I'm dropping everybody into the deep because I know that's where he's going. And ah, 
drop Samuel in the freaking out route spot. You should have stopped that. Gosh, dang it. All right, so that's a little frustrating. That is a little frustrating. Now, I know middle seams on this side. I know that it's coming. I'm going to use a bump. I'm right there. It is what it is. All right, but I feel calm. I, I still feel confident, guys. I, I, the reason I feel confident is because I'm all over it. Um, it's, you know, it's not one of those things where I'm like, I have no idea how to stop what you're doing. It's more so, you know, I just can't get that last little click off to where I can really cage whatever you're going to do to me. Now, I know that he can't run the ball because he can't run the ball because of the clock. So I know that I could still send that trio sky zone with a little bit of confidence here um, that it will be effective. And I am got lucky there. I don't know what happened. This guy's really messing me. Making my defense look retarded. Alright, so you want to come in here. Alright, so I'm going to use her with more. I know i got to watch that left side. There we go. Oh my gosh, man! We're right there. We're right there. All we did there was clamp double go. We dropped the two deep blues into flat zones. It's our goal line play. We were right there. Oh, my gosh. We're doing the same thing. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to man them up, though, for the slant route. Got the two blitzers. He might run it here. Nope. Boom! And that is finally caged. Um, man. That was a frustrating game. We fought through it again, man. I'm sure he's going to go on side here. We're just going to audible. Square L1 on PS4 to audible into onside kick. Offense, I don't think the offense got stopped. So, and that was, that, that was a huge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that, uh, that PA route one more time for you guys to show you because, uh, that was pretty good, nice little user catch. Uh, we're going to go ahead and decline that. Give us a little bit more room. One time I actually was in a, like a version gaming, like tournament game, and I ended up declining, ended up declining uh, that call. And unfortunately, he had to fall. Uh, he actually had won the, the play, so he got the ball. I was so upset. I lost like 20 bucks. And I get picked. That is hilarious. That is so freaking funny. Try to show off a little bit for you guys, and I get picked off. Man, that's hilarious. Seems like every time I try to show you guys something really, really, really cool, I end up getting picked. So we're just going to send some pressure and just back off. We'll just LB SWAT, and that's the ball game. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys stuck, stuck around the whole way, if you guys could do me just one favor, and uh, if you could just retweet this video on Twitter, that would really help me out a lot. And uh, just appreciate you guys so much, and I hope you guys stay tuned to all of our content we have coming soon. Thanks so much for your time, guys.